Garage's Dollhouse. Today we have another exciting box opening for you guys. And this one's extremely exciting because I waited extremely a long time. This is my first pre-order. It is the Sumni by Atelier Mamoni Lola. And I'll put her name down below because I cannot pronounce her second, um, her uh, last name. It is from, she is from Spain and this is a doll from Spain. So anyway, today we have our tea and it's our natural lemon tea and we're gonna drink tea and open a box. So, here we go guys. I'm so excited. I waited so long. I ordered a whole bunch of stuff waiting for this doll to arrive. So she will not be like my other dolls that I opened and I have nothing. So let me make sure I open it carefully. Oh, before I open it, she put yay I'm here on the actual box with a star. So that's really super cute. So here we go. Oh, I'm so excited. She has the greatest posability and she is the size of a Barbie, which makes it super easy to uh, find her fashions. And as you know, I love fashions. That's the whole purpose of me and these BJDs is fashion. And I love them, love them, love them. And they feel like a solid rock. I told you all that. Okay, it says, happy 2021. Enjoy, uh, enjoy her, Lola. That's the sticker right there. Happy 2021, enjoy her, Lola. And inside of this tiny box, which was very neat. Her presentation is so neat. Inside of this box was another cute box, which is always awesome because you know that I love to keep my dolls in the box. So yeah, because that's a whole separate video, but um, resin can um, turn yellow. So I like to keep my dolls in the box because I don't want anything to turn yellow because I want to keep them forever. So let's see here. Well, there was tape on the side. <laughs> but, I but I'm not going to use this part, so it's okay if I tear it off. I love how she packaged this. Oh, more stickers. Oh, look at this. I follow her on Instagram and I remember when she was creating these stickers. I think these particular stickers right here. So I'm gonna put this on my laptop. And here's her card. And I can't see, but I think it's a calendar on the back of her card. Oh, how cool. Wow. It says Attila Mamoni, and that's another one of her um, one of her creations, and I think that's Attaku on there, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, and this is oh wow, and more. This is her certificate of property. It says certificate of property on hers, number 164, um, 2020 Somni Coco Skin, and then she's got her name Lola and her last name, which I will put down there so that you can see it. And this is her drawing that she sends with her dolls. This is her Somni drawing. Oh, wow. And then there's more cards and everything inside of here. So I'm gonna leave that, because I like her too. Oh, and here's more like, oh, wow. Oh, wow. She sent lots of postcards, which aren't going anywhere, but she sent lots of postcards. Wow, because I'm not going to part with them. Woo, look at that. Oh, that's super nice. Wow. And by the way, I started doing face-ups. And I, I mean, I'm doing face-ups on my own babies, on my own girls. So this will give me a good idea of like the artist, what the artist intends for her to look like. So I like that. So here is the piece of resistance. <gasps> She is so super cute. She is way, as always, pictures just do not do them justice. Oh, wow. Oh, she 
was well worth the wait. She's not heavy at all. She's very light. Oh, but she's bigger than I thought she was gonna be. She's like, I pictured her so small, but I love, oh my goodness. Now, I understand what people say about I can smell the resin. This smells amazing. Oh, I have not, okay, the rest of my resins I did not smell it. Oh my goodness. Ah, I can smell the resin and it smells, it smells like the shoes that I got from Svetlana. So I guess that was the resin I was smelling. I thought it was maybe the paint or something. But, because, I mean, but, oh, and the way her knees are made. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Let me attempt to get her loose out of here. She is very nicely packaged with these thick cottons and rubber bands. So let me get this off if I can. Okay. Uh-oh. I think I broke one. Oh. <gasps> Look at her hand. What? They are so tiny and delicate and perfect. I am telling you guys, you and I am gonna put the information down below the next time she does a pre-order. Oh my goodness. Fabulousness. Complete and utter fabulousness. These hands, and look at the posability. Double jointed in the hands. Look at that. Already I can see posability here. Okay. Other hand out. One hand is supposed to be like that, and I think one hand is supposed to be more of like a straight hand, like a high hand. <gasps> wow, and she's got little tiny nails that I'm gonna love painting these little tiny nails. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna hold it like that so you can see. And then let me take her head out if I can. She's got a little bit in there too. I want to be careful with her ears. Okay. Not that they look fragile, but they stick out. So I want to be careful with them. Oh, look at her little eyes. She's got blue eyes. And I also bought her some eyes from Odd Page, which, I, which is on Etsy, and I will include it in the link. I bought her some eyes from her, some gray eyes, because I didn't know what color eyes she might come with. Oh, wow. Look at that. Now that is some great posability. Look how it went straight up like that. It's not like right here. It's straight back there. Oh, man. And then she's got the, the um, upper part that she can put torso. Oh, her little face is so sweet. Wow. And I like how she has her feet. Okay, let me see how I can get this out of here, though. Ah, love how she is made. Wow. Very, very nice. I love her. Let's do this, cause she's, look. Now she can bend like that. I love that. Complete another curling up posability. You can cross her legs. And that's my favorite part. She could be like a lady. <laughs> you can cross her legs. Love it, love it, love it. Cover her up with her own hands. Love it. Okay, really quick here. Um, I did, as I said, I was able to, uh, because of the weight, I ordered her, I can't remember when I ordered her, but it. She just. she's just now arriving. I think it was like maybe five or six months ago, I'm not sure, but in the pre-order. But in the meantime, I was able to order her some items, so she does have some clothes to put on. Let's see what I'm gonna put on her. Let's try on the pants. Um, she does wear Barbie clothes, so hopefully she can wear these. And these are from Dolls Day, which is on Instagram and Etsy. And so let's see here. I'm not sure if she can wear these pants because it was saying something about her um, her feet. She wears Barbie clothes, but her feet are bigger than Barbies. So let's see here.
Okay, guys, that was a complete and utter struggle <laughs> to put those pants on her. But I have heard that if the pants are not um, big at the bottom, then that it's hard to for her to fit. So that's exactly what the case was. But I have a remedy for that for all of these pants that I bought for her. But in the meantime, we have all of these fabulous hats. And you can tune into that video of the dolls of my haul from Dolls Day. So for now, until I do her face up and make her a wig, we are gonna put her on this hat right here. This says Gap <laughs> on it. Because I waited for months to put these hats over her head. And even though it is turning summer, yay! <laughs> she gets to wear her hat because she's got a big head. <laughs> but anyway, guys, stay tuned for more. Stay tuned for her face up and stay tuned for more outfits. And here she is, so neat by Tilly Mamoni. See you guys later. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe and share and stay tuned for the pictures. <laughs>